Hi everyone and welcome to my Facebook Live today. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Paper Craft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you all for being with me today, whether or not you're joining me live or watching the replay on Facebook or perhaps watching the replay on YouTube later on. Thank you so much. If you're watching live, you'll see the little red live button at the top here. So you'll know that you're live with me. Feel free to comment and um, craft along with me if you'd like to. If you're watching um, the replay or perhaps actually if you're watching on um, YouTube, I should say, you'll see the um, subscribe button down below this video down here. So if you'd like to click on that, you'll get um, you'll be able to follow me and there's a little bell icon there as well. If you click on that, you will get notified every time I upload a new video. So um, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy what I have for you today. So today is super exciting because it is my five year stamp anniversary. So that is what we call our Stampin' Up! anniversary, our stamp anniversary. So I joined Stampin' Up! five years ago today. Um, I still remember it was actually in the evening, um, very late at night that I was doing my, um, my online um, joining process and um, yeah I will always remember that I think. So ah hi Robin you found me, great to have you with me this morning, oh thank you so much, yeah exciting day. So yeah five years ago. I joined Stampin' Up! and it was one of the best decisions I ever made. It has been an amazing ride. Um, I've met some wonderful people from all around the world. Um, I've made beautiful friends and here, both here in Australia and overseas as well. And um, it's just wonderful to meet so many beautiful crafty people who um, love their, their craft and have such a passion for their craft just like I do and like I have had for many, many years. So um, prior to that, I was purchasing Stampin' Up! products for about um, nine years before that. I think Stampin' Up! has been in Australia now for 15 years and I discovered them about a year after they came to Australia. So I've been around Stampin' Up! for quite a while, um, but actually being part of um, the Stampin' Up! family is a totally, totally next level, totally um, much more exciting. So um, yeah, so very exciting day today. Um, so if uh, you love Stampin' Up! products and you would love to be part of this amazing crafting community, um, feel free to send me a message because at the moment um, we're celebrating what we call celebration, and it ends on the 30th of September. And during celebration, there is actually an additional um, uh, free gift for if you join with Stampin' Up! You get to choose a free bundle from our new mini catalog. And so um, you get that on top of um, the freebies that you already get when you purchase the starter kit. So the starter kit is only $169 and you get to choose $235 worth of product. Plus you'll get that free bundle, plus you get free shipping. And then thereafter you'll get a minimum of 20% discount on all of your Stampin' Up! products. Plus you are joining a beautiful crafting community where you'll make lots and lots of awesome um, friends and you'll get lots of creative inspiration and we get lots of looks and perks as being demonstrators. We get to see lots of the behind the scene things. We get new product early. We get to see all the new catalogs early, um, demonstrator events. Oh, there's a demonstrator only event coming up um, in November, actually. It's called On Stage. And if you've been following me for a while, you might have heard me mention it before. It's always super fun. This year is a virtual event, um, as we had last year as well, because of COVID. Prior to that, it was in person. Um, events which are always amazing but um, even the online event is amazing and fun and so if you would like to join with uh, myself and my team as we participate in on stage um, then come and join us come and join us so the um, the cutoff period for joining in on stage is the 22nd of October, uh, September. So if you join um, between now and the 22nd, 
then um, you'll be eligible to register for on stage and come and join us. It's super fun. So um, if you'd like more information about that, please let me know because I'd love to um, have a chat with you about that, answer any of your questions. There's no pressure to sell either, just to let you know when you join Stampin' Up. It's totally up to you. If you would like the business opportunity, it's there for you and I'm happy to support you um, with that. But if you want to just join just to get the discount and to enjoy the friendship and community, then that is okay too and I support you in that as well. So um, feel free to ask me any questions you might have. Okay, um, you can probably sense my excitement today. I think I'm talking so quickly today. Let me just call up this um, live on my iPad so I can see all of your comments. I forgot to do that at the beginning. I was so excited and started chatting. So let me just bring that up now. And let me see. Oh, I've got a few that have jumped on here. Hi, Leslie. How are you going? Great to have you here this morning. Hi, Angela. Great to have you. Oh, thank you for your congratulations. Yes, very exciting today. Great. Um, all right. So um, Thursdays, I like to try and keep my live a bit shorter. And I do actually have um, a Zoom event at 12 o'clock today um, that I'm participating in. It's not my own that I'm holding. Um, it's a leader Zoom. So I'll be joining in on that. And that's at 12 o'clock. So I've got to be quick, quick, quick today. Now, Thursdays, I usually like to do quick and easy projects. And so um, today's will be a, a easy layout but I'm actually stepping it up a little bit today using a little bit of technique and some additional tools um, but it is a simple layout so it's easy to put together um, and I'm using some brand new product now before I jump into that let me just um, quickly remind you about celebration I mentioned about that a moment ago about if you'd like to join with Stampin Up during celebration um, and join my awesome team of wonderful, crafty, beautiful people. Um, but also to, if you shop during celebration, so it runs until the 30th of September, but with every $90 purchase, you get to choose a free item from the celebration brochure and some of those we're gonna be using today. So this has got lots of products in there. There's stamp sets, there's um, designer series paper, there's dies. Um, and there's two different levels, so there are um, quite a few products to choose if you purchase um, $90, but if you choose over $180, there's a couple of additional products there that you can choose for um, purchases or orders of over $180, or if you choose uh, if you are spending over $180, you can choose two of the $90 or as we call them level one products as well. So you've got those different options there. So if you don't already have one of these, feel free to get in contact with me. I also have a PDF version on my blog at mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. You'll see my blog when I tip the camera down. I'll have that down on my desk for you. Um, but if you'd like to go there and have a look at um, the PDF version of the celebration brochure, then you can certainly go there um, and you'll find my shop button um, in my blog as well um, and also on my demonstrator website. So there's two different ways that you can um, find my online store. Now, these are, I'll just quickly hold that up. These are the bundles that you can get for free or you can choose for free. Um, when you join with Stampin' Up! during celebration. So there's lots there to choose from um, and they value up to $104. So it's huge value that you can get um, as an additional freebie at the moment during celebration um, when you join. Uh, so we also have our beautiful mini catalogue. If you would like a copy of this and you don't already have one, again, I would love to send one out to you. And um, we also have our big annual catalog. And this one in the annual catalog, you'll find a lot of our um, a lot of our staple products like our inks, our tools, um, uh, cardstock, uh, coloring um, mediums, and all sorts of things like that. You'll find um, all of those things in here, as well as lots of designer series paper, stamps, punches, dies, and all of the other things as well. Um, the mini catalogue has got a lot of 
holiday products in it. So a lot of, it used to be called the holiday catalog actually, but it has got um, beautiful Christmas themed products, Halloween, if you celebrate Halloween, and then there's some nature themed products in there as well. Um, so beautiful, beautiful products. All of those are available in PDF version on my blog. But if you would like paper copies, I love paper copies because I like to sit there and go over them and I go over them and over them and over them. And every time I look through, I find something else that I missed before or um, sparks my interest. And then my wish list is forever growing. <laughs> so let me know if you'd like a copy of those and I would love to get them out to you. All right. Oh, hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, you can't stay to watch. That's okay. The replay is always available for you. Not a problem at all. All right. So what I might do before um, time gets away with us, I'm going to flip the camera down onto my desktop and we can get crafting and I'll show you what we're going to be playing with today. So let me just cover up the camera. There we go. Bear with me for one moment while I just... Um, get the camera pointing down onto my desk for you. It might be a little bit noisy and clunky and squeaky while I just adjust my stand. There we go. Okay, and I'll just adjust those lights so we can all see what's happening. There we go. Oh, I got that very straight today, first time. Wow, I did well today. <laughs> Often when I tip the camera down, I have to adjust it several times because it's, um, it's usually very wonky. So there we go. So if you're looking for my blog, for any of those catalogs, as I mentioned, um, for my online store, I even have an easy um, joining button there. If you have already made the decision to join with my team, there is a join button there that you can click. And there's some creative inspiration on there too. Now, I will be honest and let you know that I haven't uploaded any more um, projects onto my blog for um, a little while, just because I've been so super busy with so many other things with my business, I haven't had a chance. Um, I was trying to do some yesterday actually, but we actually had a lot of internet issues yesterday and the whole family was having a terrible time trying to get onto the internet. So, but there is creative inspiration on there um, from previous to the last few weeks. So feel free to have a look around my blog. It's mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com and you can also jump over to my um, demonstrator website, which is mandywitherby.stampinup.net. You'll also find a shopping link there. And as well as that, you can see my full calendar of um, events for the rest of this year there as well. So you might like to check out both. All right, so today we are gonna be playing with some of the brand new Celebration products. And the ones that we're gonna be playing with today are on pages 10 and 11, if you have your brochure. Um, we're gonna be playing with the very, very cute Counting Sheep stamp set and the sheep dies today. So we are stepping it up this week um, and using some dies. Usually on my Thursdays, I just try and focus mainly on um, stamp sets, occasionally some punches, but we are gonna be using some dies today. Now, um, each of these products you can choose for free with a $90 purchase during, stamp, uh, during celebration. So that's until the 30th of September, 2021. Um, so if you are purchasing $180, then you can get both of them. So um, there you go. Really cute samples here in the um, brochure as well. But these are just two of the many products that you can choose during celebration. There's a whole heap of products and there's more after there as well. So yeah, lots and lots of products in here that you can choose for free when you're shopping during celebration. So here's the stamp set. It's a beautiful red rubber stamp set. So I've taken off um, the stamps that I'm going to, I mean, I've taken out the stamps that I'm going to use today. So it's a lovely red rubber um, stamp set. These are awesome and they have the foam built into them already. So you've got that beautiful cushioning, which helps to give you a nice even um, stamped image. Um, so we're gonna be using that. And these are the dies. 
and I'll just take the dies out of the packet to show you if I can get them out the sheep dies so with the sheep dies you have dies that will cut out each of the sheep and the party hat and then you've got some additional clouds you've got a Sun you've got um, the little banner there or the little flag and the balloon and this gorgeous fence which can these extra little things can be used for lots of other projects as well you don't have to use them just with the sheep um, so you can use them with lots of our other stamp sets as well hey Jenny how are you going hi Julie great to have you with us um, oh you've got this one always and always looking for new designs Awesome. Well, hopefully I'll be able to give you some more ideas today, Julie. So that's what we're going to be playing with. Now, because it's my five-year um, stamp anniversary today, as we say in the Stampin' Up! world, it's my five-year anniversary with Stampin' Up! Um, I thought I would do a really bright, colourful celebration card today. So let me show you what I have created for you. Here it is here. It's really fun. My little sheep have got their um, their fun birthday outfits on in these beautiful bright colours and they're matching the beautiful glimmer paper, um, the rainbow glimmer paper, which, which I absolutely love. And um, I just thought that this was really fun. They're having a great time dancing along the fence. Um, and you can see we've got some balloons here tied to the fence as well because, you know, when we have birthday parties, we often tie balloons to either our front fence or our letterbox. So I wanted to add the balloons in there as well. So this is the one that we're going to be creating. As I said, really simple layout, but just really bright and fun. So let me show you how I created this card today. All right, we're going to be actually using some Stampin' Blends to do our colouring too. So I'll bring those down here and I'll let you know the colours that we're going to be using shortly. All right, I'll pop the card up here out of the way for a moment while we um, get all of our pieces out. Now I've done some of the die cutting um, ahead of time just to save a bit of time today uh, because I like to try and keep this under an hour if possible. So um, I've done a little bit of die cutting already. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've die cut two of the fence pieces and I've done that in um, silver foil cardstock. The silver foil cardstock can be found in our mini catalogue. So we currently have a pack of, um, I'm not even sure which page it's on now actually, but I'll have a look at the quick ready reference at the back. Here we go, page 23. If you didn't know, there's a quick ready reference in the back of this catalogue to help you find all of the products. So there's a silver foil cardstock here um, that's available in the mini catalogue and it comes in three finishes. So you've got a brushed finish, a matte finish and a mirror foil finish. I've used the mirror foil finish. Um, but then when you die cut that, it's well, actually, this is the matte finish. Um, when you die cut that, it actually puts the, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I think you can see that on camera. It puts the wood grain um, embossing into the fence, which is really cute. But I wanted a blingy metal fence today um, because not all fences out in the country are timber. Some of them are metal as well. Um, however, this does look like wood, but mine is cut in silver because I wanted it to be blingy. So <laughs> there you go. So we've just got some really simple um, layers. I've already pre-cut three balloons and I'll let you know the colours. So I've done Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue, and this one is actually Coastal Cabana. Um, the, sh the blends I'm going to be using for the sheep will be um, Mint Macaron, oh was it Mint Macaron? Pool Party. But when I compared the colour of the balloon, um, the sheep was a little bit darker because I did a couple of coats of colour on the sheep. So I chose to go with the Coastal Cabana just to give a bit more pop of colour, um, which sort of matched a bit more closely to the sheep anyway than the, um, the cardstock of the um, pool party did. So I've gone ahead and cut those in advance. I've even got my little bow tied already. So this is just a piece of um, the basic white... Uh, 
um, oh, sorry, the white basic, uh, let me get that right, the white baker's twine. So the baker's twine essential pack, you can find this in the annual catalogue um, in the um, ribbon and trim section. So that's in the accessory section towards the back of the catalogue. And you get five different colours in there. So you've got very vanilla, crumb cake, white, um, grey granite, and you've got basic black. So um, that's what I have used for the bow. I've cut two strips. Um, I only need one, but I cut an extra one. This is for my sentiment, and I always have a spare as a backup just in case I have any stamping boo-boos when stamping my sentiment. And this is just one and a half centimetres wide, um, and I think it's ten and a half centimetres long because I think it was like a card front size. And then for my actual card base, we've got... A piece of um, fresh freesia and this is just half of an A4 sheet so it's 21 centimeters by 14.85 and then I've just scored and folded that in half at 10.5 centimeters and we're going to have a, a landscape card then I've got a layer of um, blackberry bliss and the blackberry bliss measures 14.45 by 10.1 and then I've got this gorgeous um, rainbow glimmer paper, which is in the annual catalogue. Um, and it actually has a full gradient of, of colour. Um, the sheets I've got here at home now are cut up. So I'm just going to have a look and see if I can find it for you um, in the annual catalogue. Because I didn't tab that, did I, before we went live? So I'll just bring in the annual catalogue and find that here for you so you know where to find that if you're looking for it. It's in the back here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. I'm not sure what page it's on. Oh, I think it's after the um, designer series paper, actually. There it is, there. Um, it's on page 135. So you can see you've got these beautiful um, colours that go from the greens, blues, purples, pinks, down to oranges and yellows. Um, so I'm just using this section here that is the greens to purples. Um, but you can see all our other specialty um, basic papers there. Um, and then you've got other um, basics and packaging and things like that after that. So that's where you'll find the glimmer paper. And so I have cut a piece from the purples to the greens measuring 14.05 um, by 9.7. So really easy layout, just um, layering the, the um, beautiful sparkly paper onto a matte colour and then onto the base. So that part is really easy. Then I've got a piece of um, thick whisper white to stamp my sheep and colour them with my Stampin' Blends. Now I do recommend the thick cardstock um, when you're using blends because it has a bit better absorbency with the Stampin' Blends because they are an alcohol marker. Um, they will absorb into the cardstock and I just find that the thick whisper, uh, the thick basic white um, is a better cardstock to use with the blends. You can use the ordinary, um, but you might find the absorbency a little bit different um, so yeah so it's up to you but i do prefer to use the thick so this is just a, a card front size so it's 14.85 by 10 and a half centimeters all right so what we might do is we might um, stamp our sheep and then we can um, color those all right so that's all the pieces i'll pop all of these to the side and i'll leave these out we'll stamp our sentiments too i'll pop all of these extra little bits to the side and i've got some bling to add as well now i'll protect my um uh, surface with just some grid paper or you can use some scratch paper um, especially when you're using stampin blends because they do absorb into the paper so be sure to cover your um, work surface so I'm just going to use some Memento Black Ink. That's the one that you want to be using if you're using the Stampin' Blends or you can use some of our um, classic Stampin' Pads, okay? So either classic Stampin' Pads or Memento, they're the ones that you want to be using with the Stampin' Blends. And that way, um, if you allow that ink to dry, then that they won't, um, it won't bleed. All right, so, I'm just going to ink up my little sheep so I'm just rubbing that and then giving that a dab 
So we want four sheep. So we've got one, two, and usually, oh, look, I got ink on my finger. Let me just wipe that off on my chamois. There we go. I bought some new chamois in my last order, although this one's getting inky already. <laughs> I'll just use that to um, wipe that ink off my finger. These are a really great um, cleaning tool for your stamps and also for your fingers. Um, these are the Simply Chamois and these are also available in the annual catalogue, the big one. Um, and they're in the tools or the accessories section as well at the back of the catalogue. All right, so we've got three. I think they look like dancing sheep. Don't you think they look like dancing sheep? Um, oh, the glimmer paper, it's cardstock rose. It's very thick um, cardstock. Yeah, it's really heavyweight. Um, it's really great, actually. Oh, hi, Heather. I just saw that you had jumped on. Great to have you with us this morning. All right, and then I'm going to stamp a few little party hats. So we need four party hats. One for each of the sheep. There we go. Now, normally when I do a card, I usually do uneven numbers. I don't normally do even numbers just because it's aesthetically um, uh, aesthetically correct, really, in, in the art world. But also, too, it balances better. So, um, but the reason that I only had four was to be able to fit them on the front of the card with the sentiment and everything. But what I did is I added the balloons, which gives you the fifth um, element on the front of the card, um, the, or the, the fifth focal element on the card, which is then your odd number, if that makes sense. Even though it's not of the same image, um, it gives a fifth element. So just give our stamps a good little clean. Always good to clean them straight away. Don't let that ink sit on those stamps for too long because you want to look after your stamps. There we go. All right. And, okay, so we'll set those aside to dry. And uh, for a moment while we stamp our sentiment. Now, a trick with, oh, have I still got more ink on my hands? Or did I pick that up before with ink on my hands? Hang on a sec. I'm going to just wipe my hands again. I think I might have ink on the outside of my ink pad because I think I've picked up more ink again. I'll have to give that a good clean after I'm finished today. There we go. Well, let's get the other piece. There we go. <laughs> I think that was the back anyway, so it wouldn't matter too much. Um, so this piece is a piece of just um, plain basic white and I've cut that at one and a half centimetres wide. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my Banners Pick a Punch and that's the one that I'm going to use for um, my sentiment label. So I'm just going to pop that into my, um, my punch there. And if I flip the punch over, I can check to see that I'm lining that up straight in the punch and then we can punch the end of that we've got that lined up there we go all right so now i've got one end punched i'm going to stamp my sentiment and then i'm going to punch the other end and i'll show you how to line that up um, to be able to do that so i'm using even though it's my stamp anniversary i'm actually turning this into a birthday card it's still a celebration card um, so I'm using So Glad It's Your Birthday and I'll just very carefully hold my ink pad so that I don't get more ink on my fingers as I open that up. Oh yeah, I've got a very inky lid, that's why. That's why I've been getting ink everywhere. All right, so we'll just ink up our stamp. All right, I'm just going to stamp that in a little bit from the edge. Forgive me if I get my head in camera, but I'm trying to see to line that up on my label there. There we go. That's not too crooked. A little bit crooked, but it's not too bad. I think we can get away with that. All right. 
and we'll give that one a clean. There we go, squeaky, squeaky. All right, now what I'm going to do, that little bit that I snipped out of the end, when I punched that label there, I punched that little bit out. I'm gonna use that little bit now to measure where I want to punch the other end. So the way that I do that is, it's punched out that way. So I'm gonna turn it around the other way and I'm gonna line that up down on my card and I'm measuring the distance. I'm just using my eye to do this. I'm measuring the distance from where it's snipped it in there at sort of that triangle to the other end. I want to sort of have the same distance. So I'm just using my eye to get a rough idea of where that would be. Oops, move that back a little bit more. There we go. And so where the straight edge is, I'm now going to mark that with my pencil. Okay, so I'll take that away. Now that's where I want to trim my cardstock straight with my trimmer and then we'll do the punching. And then when we do the punching, it should be in exactly the right spot. So I'll line that up with the cutting track of my trimmer. So those little pencil marks, I'm lining them up with the cutting track of my trimmer. Okay, so I've got that cut straight at the end. And now we'll take that into our punch and we'll feed that in. Now, if it's a little bit short and it's hard for you to hold it, you can use a sticky note. Now, if I push that right up against the end, that should be at the right Oh, this one's a bit short. Hang on a minute. I'm going to need a sticky note to use as a handle. Oof, there we go. I'm just going to grab a little sticky note. Here we go. I've got these little um, skinny sticky notes. So I'll use one of these. And I'm going to pop that at the back of the opposite end. And I can use that to help hold this as I feed that in. Okay, and then you just line that up. I'm pushing it up against, I'm pushing the cardstock up against the end of the punch again and lining that up in the middle. Now, because I haven't cut this the same width as the tracks in the punch, I've got to make sure that I hold it so that um, it's going to punch in the middle of the card. There we go. Then we can use that handle to pull that back out. And then we have your little label. There we go. So with these punches, they have little grooves in them. These um, picker punches, they have the grooves and they're measured in inches. So it's half an inch, three quarters of an inch and one inch. But because I had cut my cardstock to one and a half centimetres, it doesn't actually match exactly any of those um, little grooves. So that's why I had to hold it and line it up um, myself. So, oh, you like that tip, Robin? Great. I'm glad that, I hope you found that helpful. Oh, thanks, Julie, for your congratulations. Yeah, exciting. All right, so there's our little banner, our little sentiment banner. So we'll pop that to the side and I'll bring in my sheep. Now, I did go ahead and stamp some sheep um, last night ahead of time. Um, to allow that ink to dry because when you are using the Stampin' Blends, it is important to let that ink dry before you try to colour them in just so that your um, ink doesn't bleed, your um, black ink doesn't bleed. Okay. All right. Bye, Rose. I'll see you on the replay. <laughs> All right. So I've got lots of beautiful colours today. So I've got um, Highland Heather. Now, when you purchase the Stampin' Blends, they come in a combo pack. So you get them in the, the light and the dark of each of the colours. Okay, the only ones that you don't is the Bronze and Ivory and the Colour Lifter. Okay, so those ones are a little bit different. But all the other colours in the colour range um, that are available, they all come in the combo packs. So we've got Highland Heather, Balmy Blue, Granny Apple Green, Pool Party, and I'm just using the, the um, dark grey granite 
for their little hooves. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do their little hooves first. And I'm just using, so each of the Stampin' Blends has two tips. It has a brush tip, which is the one I use the most. But when you're coloring in small sections, it's sometimes a good idea to use the bullet tip because you've got a little bit more control on um, where you're laying down the color. So when you're laying down the color with your Stampin' Blends, um, you don't need to press really hard, okay? So just use a light hand and don't go over the, don't go all the way kind of to the edge of the stamped um, image. Kind of stop just before that um, black outline because what will happen is the color will continue to absorb into the cardstock and spread out. And if you colored right to the edge of that black um, outline, what will happen is the ink will actually um, bleed outside of the stamped image. Now it doesn't matter too much with these ones um, because we are going to be die cutting them. But if you know, some of the images that you'll be um, using these on, it might matter. So just be really careful when you're coloring. All right, so I'm coloring the sheep mostly with the light color. I'm going to start with the Highland Heather. Um, I love using these Stampin' Blends. They're so, they're really comfortable in your hand actually, but they just give a really beautiful um, soft finish, like a really even finish on them. Um, and they're just beautiful. And of course, because you've got the light and the dark, you can blend the colors together. So if you want to do some highlighting or some shadowing, you can combine those light and dark colors, use the dark color where the shadows with be, would be, and then blend that out with the lighter color to give a nice smooth finish, but to still have the, um, the light and dark shading. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing it a little bit differently. I'm not doing so much of um, blending in the colors, but what I'm doing, so I want my sheep to be a little bit darker, but I don't want it to be as dark as the, the dark stamp and blend. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over with another coat of the light Highland, Highland Heather. And also too, this will help to smooth out the blend as well. So wherever there might be a bit of unevenness in the color, this will help to um, smooth it all out. And when that dries, wait till you see it when it dries, like it looks amazing. I like to use a circular motion when I'm coloring with my brush tip of my um, Stampin' Blends. I find that that gives the best finish. Now, when you finish coloring with them, you'll notice that looks really dark, but what is going to happen is as that um, ink dries, because this is alcohol-based ink, when that ink dries, um, that color is going to lighten up. I'm going to use the bullet tip end of the dark now, just on those little See how in the stamped image you've got those little shadow areas that Stampin' Up! have lovingly helped us um, with our shadow areas and to give a little bit of definition in the wool of the sheep. That's where I'm just going to use the, the dark colour. And I'm just going to do a little stroke. So I'm not actually doing any blending this time with the, um, the dark blend. I'm just highlighting those little areas in the wool. There we go. It just gives a little bit of definition. All right, so we'll move on to the balmy blue sheep. So do you like all my colors that I've chosen today? I've chose actually chosen the colors from, uh, or to match the glimmer paper because the, the rainbow glimmer paper is so beautiful that I thought I'm just gonna match the colors to that. And that made it a bit easier for me too because I didn't have to think about what colors to use. It was already chosen for me. There we go. I'm gonna leave their little legs and their little faces white because my little sheep were white sheep but they've got their colorful party clothes on today because they're celebrating. My dancing celebratory sheep. There we go. So we'll just go over that again. 
Oh, and their little ears are left white as well. If you wanted to, you could use some of the really light Stampin' Blends like the, um, the um, Petal Pink on their faces and their legs and their ears. And I was maybe going to do that, but then I thought, no, there's enough colour going on in my sheep today. I think I'll just leave their faces and their legs white. There we go. Cute. And these are really easy to colour with, these Stampin' Blends. Um, they feel, yeah, they're really smooth to colour with. And another great feature of them as well is that the lids actually nest. So you don't lose your lids. So they will sit on top of each other like that. So that you can colour and know where your lid is. Because how many times do we put things down on our craft desk when we're crafting and we lose them? And you certainly don't want to lose your lids of these. <laughs> Um, with the Stampin' Blends, you do need to cap their lids as soon as you're finished using it. Because they are alcohol-based um, ink, it will evaporate very quickly. So make sure you cap your lid as soon as you have um, finished colouring with it. Okay, so here's our Granny Apple Green Sheep. Does anybody know the, um, the storybook, Where's the Green Sheep? I'm sure some of you know of that story, that children's book. Um, that's what I thought of when I was making this as well. Um, I was thinking of that storybook because there's lots of different sheep in that storybook. And through the whole storybook, they're looking for the green sheep. Actually, somebody recently, I um, can't remember who it was now. Somebody, oh yeah, it was one of my team members actually. That's right was one of my team members she did a card based on that book using these sheep it was a really cute card and the little green sheep was hiding on the inside of her card under a um under the flap it was really cute i think she entered that card in our um card chart and our creative challenge last month too because every month in my team i do a um I set up a creative challenge for my team members and um, it's a great way of everyone gaining inspiration from everybody else's crafting projects and usually every month we'll have a theme and then at the end of the month um, I draw a winner and so that's one of the fun things that we do in my team but I love seeing everybody's creations and um, they yeah they really inspire each other and Sometimes they'll do different techniques and things like that. And so they'll share that with everybody in the team. And yeah, it's really a lot of fun. And then each month we have a team gathering. And um, after the team gathering, um, which is our team meeting, so I, I bring them up to date with all of the Stampin' Up! news and um, all those sorts of things. And then afterwards we always have a little um, creative time together which is always a lot of fun. So every month we get to, we always get together. And um, yeah, it's really lovely. Here's a question for you. Does anybody own sheep? Do you own any sheep? We've got a, um, we don't own any sheep. We're not on a property, but um, my um, sister-in-law, they didn't own sheep, but they own cows, but they had sheep on the property. Um, well, they had goats actually at one stage too, but they have, I think they have sheep on the property next door. Or is it cows? Maybe it's cows actually. I'm just trying to think now what's on the property next door. But anyway, I know whenever I used to travel down to Victoria to visit my mum down in Mildura, um, when she was still with us, um, we'd always see lots of sheep on the way down there out in the country and I remember when I went to New Zealand a few years ago there were lots and lots of sheep over there and um, as a lot of you probably know New Zealand is known for their sheep I don't know why they're known for their sheep maybe just because there's so many sheep there there we go so there's our little sheep now with the um aren't they cute Look at that, they're really, really cute. You might notice that the colour on the purple one is starting to lighten up a little bit now. 
So with the party hats, what I did, I'll just show you on one of them. I won't do all of them. Um, I just used the dark colour for the polka dots on the um, party hat. So just using the bullet tip. And then to colour in the rest of the party hat, I used the same colour but in the light. So you'll see... Um, yeah, so that's how I did each of the party hats. And then I mixed the party hats amongst the different sheep. Um, so to save a bit of time, I went ahead and I die cut those already for us. Now, all of the dies from this set do fit in your mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. If you don't already have a stamp and cut and emboss machine, it is a great one to start with the mini. Um, here it is here. It's a great little machine. So I've got it all folded up. You can see how small it is. It doesn't take up much space. And then the sides, whoops, there goes my iPad. Stay there. There we go. Um, the sides fold open like that. And then you pop that down onto your work surface. And it comes with the plates that you need to get started. So there's my plates. I've got my base plate and my two cutting plates. And then um, you just feed that through with your cardstock. You've probably seen me use it before. But if you haven't and you don't already have a um, machine and you're not sure if you're going to like it and you don't want to outlay the cost of the large machine, the mini machine is a great one to start with. It's also a great item to put in your starter kit. So if you are thinking about joining Stampin' Up!, this is a great item to put into your starter kit as well. Okay, but yes, I went ahead and did that die cutting um, ahead of time just so we could save a little bit of time and, and get these together quickly today. All right, so I'm going to lay them down in the color order that I want to have them on my card. There we go. And now with their little party hats, you'll see I've got all of their little party hats colored here, which I did ahead of time just to save a bit of time today. So there's all their little party hats. So I'm gonna mix them up so that they don't have the same color party hat as their party outfit. Um, so we're going to have the Coastal Cabana, no, not Coastal Cabana, Pool Party one on the purple sheep. And we'll have a green hat on the blue sheep and a purple hat on the Pool Party sheep, oops and a blue hat on the green sheep. Now I'm just gonna adhere those. Oh, you've got family in Mildura, have you, Robin? Oh, there you go. Do you visit there often? Well, obviously not at the moment, but do you normally go there to visit? I've got a lot of family down there too. Cousins, aunts, uncles. My um, family is from there. My mum and dad were born in Mildura and um, Lived in Sydney for 40 years. My dad passed away when I was just little. But um, uh, my mum moved back to Mildura when my children, my youngest child was a baby. So 24 years ago, after being in Sydney for 40 odd years. Yeah, she went back to the country. She wanted to um, live out the last of her days back home. Um, when I travel through to New South Wales, I do. Oh, where are you, Robin? Are you? Oh, I was assuming you were in. Oh, you're down in. Are you in ACT? Or you mentioned to me about the ACT, your daughter being in the ACT. But is that where you are? Or are you? Oh, you're in South Australia. Ah, okay. When you were talking to me earlier, I, um, I just assumed, I didn't ask actually, I should have asked you, but I just assumed you were in um, New South Wales. Oh, there you go. I have also got some aunties and uncles over in, and cousins in South Australia as well. And down in Tasmania. They're all sort of spread out, but they're all the, all the Mildura ones. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I hope to get over to South Australia um, at some stage after this lock, after, um, well, when things settle down with COVID, it's been a long time since we've been over in Adelaide and, um, I'd like to go over and see my aunties and uncles. They're all getting a bit older now. And so I want to, um, be sure to go and see them. 
and probably catch up with my cousins while I'm there who I haven't seen in a very long time. Occasionally I see them in Mildura if there's a um, family celebration for one of the big birthdays, an auntie or an uncle's big birthday. But um, the last birthday I missed because it was during this COVID period and um, my uncle turned 90, but he wasn't able to have a big party, which was a shame. There we go. So we've got all our little party hats on our um, on our little sheep there. So while we've got the glue out, we might do our balloons as well and we'll adhere those together. So I'll just bring them in. Here we go. I think I'm not going to be making my uh, Zoom call today. I just realised what the time was. <laughs> Maybe I can join in a little bit late. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of this balloon and attach that here like so to the green balloon. Let's move that up a tad, whoops. And I want their little strings to overlap a little bit, there we go. And then we'll do our pool party balloon. And this time we only need a little bit of glue on this side here. Now we're going to pop this one down a little bit lower and overlap the string on that one too. There we go. So we've got our little bunch of balloons there and we've got our sheep ready to go onto our card. <laughs> you like this sheep, Fee? These are the ones I was colouring last night when you were playing with the sheep. <laughs> oh, and Judy likes them too. They're cute. You just woke up, did you, Judy? Ah, oh, it's good to have a sleep in. All right, so these are my party sheep. Um, for those of you that would just have just jumped on, today is my five-year anniversary with Stampin' Up, or as we like to say, my stamp anniversary. So I'm making a really fun, bright celebratory card today um, to celebrate my stamp anniversary. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere, I'm using my stamp and seal today, and I'm going to adhere my rainbow glimmer paper onto my um, rich raspberry base for, oh, sorry, layer first, and then I'll put them onto the base. There we go. Whoops, we want to go around that way. So just lining that up, I've got a lovely um, two millimeter border around the edges. So I'll just get that lined up. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? That color just makes those colors in that glimmer paper just pop, don't you think? And then I just realized I'm doing that off camera a little bit, sorry about that. And then we'll attach this to the front of our card. As I was saying, um, this is just a really simple layout, but I've just stepped it up a little bit by using my Stampin' Blends and some dyes today, because usually on Thursdays I, I don't usually use dyes. I usually try and keep things quick and easy on Thursdays, but I thought, why not this week? Step it up a little bit, because I wanted to make a celebratory card. There we go. And then we've got our two millimeter border there on our base. So we give that a nice firm press. You can also open that up and press that on from the inside. All right, now we've got all of our pieces ready to go. We just need to stick them all down. So I'm going to use, ah, oh, thanks Judy. Um, so I'm going to use my um, multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just gonna attach that to the back of my um, little fence here and we'll glue that down there we go and we'll line that up just going to have a little bit of an edge a little bit of um, a border at the edge because they don't quite fit all the way across um, but yeah as, has anybody else made, uh, got, I know that Julie said she's got these ones and I know that Fee has got these one, this stamp set with the sheep. Has anybody else got this one? Have you been playing with this one? 
for this set I should say they're really cute all right so we'll line this one up as well I'm just lining up the fences along the bottom of that glimmer paper and just joining two fence um, pieces together to create one long fence we'll just give them a good press on there yeah, Angela has this set as well. Fantastic. Oh, no worries, Fee. I will see you on the replay. Thanks for jumping on. There we go. All right. So there we have our um, fences there ready to go. Now we need to add some... Oh, we need to pop our, our sentiment on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop all the rest of these elements up onto dimensionals. If you're unfamiliar with what dimensionals now are, this is our 3D um, mounting foam. And um, they're cut into um, little hexagons and we've got the regular size and then we've got the minis as well. So we are going to, let me just move this over a little bit. Oops, it's catching on my finger. I think my fingers are a little bit sticky now from the glue. All right, so I'm just going to flip the sentiment over and I'll pop a couple down on the sentiment label. Let's put one in the middle as well so that's not saggy. I'm going to put the sentiment label down first so that I can make sure I position my sheep so that I can still read my sentiment. Because what I noticed when I made my first one is I had to reposition everything a little bit because the sheep sat up so high on my card that they almost covered my sentiment label. And we don't want that. Oops, that's not straight. The good thing about adhering down onto the glimmer paper is that it's a little bit more forgiving. So it's easier to lift up. There we go. So we've got our, we'll add some bling to that afterwards. So we've got our little um, sentiment there. And we're, now we can line up all of our sheep. So let's flip all of these over. And we'll add all of our dimensionals. Oops, oh, this one's stuck too. There we go. All right, now I've got to remember not to add one to their tummies because they're going to be overlapping a little bit. The only one that needs one on their tummy is my purple sheep, which was the first one. So we'll add a dimensional to the tummy of the purple one. But the other ones are going to overlap where their tummies are, so we don't want to um, add dimensional there. I made that mistake last night when I was making the first card and I had to um, pull a whole heap of dimensionals off them again, which is never easy because these dimensionals, they stick really well. There we go. Okay, now for our balloons. Yes, they are upside down. I'll pop one there and I'm going to use a mini on both of the other little balloons that are at the side there there we go okay so we've got all of our dimensionals on there ready to go so let's flip them all over now and I make sure that I've got them in the correct order there we go yep good all right I'll put my balloons down first because I want to um I want to, Judy, I wouldn't, um, yeah, I would just probably leave that that one alone and not worry about that one. Um, probably best not to, uh, to worry too much about that. All right, so I'm just going to leave that there. And what I'm going to do is I will just put a little bit of glue underneath the tails there or the the ribbons on my um well actually no you know what I'll do I'm going to add a little glue dot later under there just to hold the strings down of that the strings of the um balloons oh I went blank then for a moment all right so now we'll put our sheep down here now we've got to watch where our little hat is on our sheep and we want our sheep Dancing across the top of the fence there. So there we go. We've got that little one on there. And we're going to overlap the rest of the sheep. So we didn't need any dimensional on their tummy because that's where they're going to overlap on their tummy. And 
we want them all dancing across that fence there. There we go. Um, Leslie says she has um, she has this set, this stamp set and dies, but she hasn't played with it yet. Oh, hopefully I'm giving you some more ideas today, Leslie. There we go. And we'll pop this little one down. Just trying to get that lined up like so. There we go. And this one too. Um, oh, it happens, Judy. Don't worry about it. I delete them afterwards. It's fine. They're, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> all right. And then we'll pop this little sheep down. There we go. Cool. Look at that. Our four little dancing party sheep. All right, now let's bring in some glue dots. And I'm going to, um, so one of these glue dots is going to be too large for what we want. So I'm just going to roll a little bit of that off to make that a bit smaller because this, that's all right, I've broken that in half. So that's good, that's what I want. Um, so we just pop that onto the back of our twine and we only want a little bit because the twine is quite fine and if we had too much glue dot like if we used a full glue dot then we'd be able to see that and we don't want to see that oh before i put my bow on though i want to use the other half of that glue dot that i just broke off to pop behind the um the ribbons not the ribbons, yeah, the ribbons of my of my um, strings, strings. That's it, string. <laughs> oh goodness, strings of my balloons. I'm gonna pop that in there just to hold those strings down. There we go, and pop that on there. There we go. We'll just make that a little bit smaller. Okay, great. There we go. And now we'll just trim that up. There we go. How cute is that? All right, so now we've got to add just a little bit more bling just for our um, sentiment label. So I'm going to use some 2021 to 2023 in color jewels. I love these ones. They're so pretty, aren't they? Um, Leslie said, I have my granddaughter's second birthday coming up. This would be a fun card to make. Yes, it would be too. It would. All right, so I'm going to use some of the really tiny ones and I'm just going to pop one on each end of the banner. There like that. Oops. And there we go. There we have our dancing party sheep who are celebrating. Now, one last thing. I've got my Wink of Stella and I'm going to add that to my balloons because we want to blitz, blitz them up too. So I'll just give this a good shake. Oh, you've got those jewels, Julie. Uh, Julie, Judy. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? All right, so we just then rub some of the wink of stella onto our balloons now we'll make the balloons look a little bit dark to begin with but that's just because it's um a bit liquidy but when that dries those balloons will go back to their original color and they'll be sparkly so we'll just add some of that to there there we go and to our coastal cabana balloon as well i'm not going to add it to the strings because the strings are a little bit fine just to the balloon sections there we go done so there is our cute little party card our little party sheep card isn't that cute 
<laughs> I hope you found that really fun. Thank you everyone so much for joining me for my um my celebration today for my stamp anniversary. <laughs> oh, you're almost out, or out of your twinkle Stella Judy. <laughs> oh, so you have to get some more. Yes, you could add it to the hats as well. Um, I'm just always a little bit reluctant to um, add it to something I've coloured for fear that it might bleed a little bit. Um, but adding it to the cardstock is is a, a safe thing to do. Um, but yes, you could definitely add it to the to the hats as well if you wanted to. Oh, thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thanks, Angela. All right. So I'm going to um, flip the camera back up to my face so that I can say goodbye to you in person. Well, in person, face to face. <laughs> so give me a moment and I'll flip that up. Oh, it's squeaky there. There we go. All right. Readjust everything. Oh, I better flip the cameras too. I nearly forgot to flip the cameras today. We would have been on the roof and upside down and back to front. <laughs> there we go. All righty. So there is my cute little sheep card. So I hope you really enjoyed that one. Um, really, really fun project to help celebrate my stamp anniversary and now I've got two I didn't I made them into birthday cards so that I can actually use them um, but I thought they would make really cute kids birthday or anyone's birthday cards really but they'd be really fun for children as well so I hope you really enjoyed them but uh, yeah lots of fun so there you go you can see the the twinkle Stella on the on the balloons. Judy and I call it Twinkle Stella instead of Wink of Stella. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for being with me today and helping me celebrate my five-year stamp anniversary. It's been great to have you all here with me today and um, I hope that um, this has inspired you to be creative today and, um, oh, thanks, Leslie. Leslie said, love this card. Have a great day. Thank you. Robin says, thanks, Mandy. Inspiring as usual. Thank you so much, Robin. Um, oh, and Judy said she thinks she needs a sheep now. Yes. <laughs> Free with a $90 order during celebration, Judy. <laughs> All right. Have a great week, everybody. And we're coming up to the weekend. Have a great weekend. If there's anything that you need help with or you have questions with um, to do with Stampin' Up, then please feel free to get in contact with me. And remember that if you join during celebration, so up until the 30th of September, you get to choose that free bundle to add to your starter kit. And um, I would love to answer any of your questions or help you um, with anything that I can. So have a great week. Get some creative time in there. I look forward to seeing what you make. Feel free to send me um, private messages with your projects or you can add them to the link here. I add them to the comments here. Um, but yeah, just have a wonderful time and enjoy creating. So until I see you again next time, I will be back on Monday at 4 p.m. Um, so if you're able to to join me then that would be wonderful otherwise i'll be back again next wednesday at 11 a.m until then have a great week everyone happy crafting bye